In this edition of Small Business Champions, three business leaders share their insights into how they see the industry changing as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. I hope you enjoy the conversation. We've been online uh, for a year and a half now. Um, I think a lot of other currency providers would also want to go online and, and take advantage of the service that we've been providing, which is the home delivery and the uh, Australia Post pickup nationally, because uh, that's where I think the industry is probably going to go. So that's one, that's one big change that's probably coming up our way now. We're from foreign exchange, we sell currency. Uh, the the industry is obviously going to change because the volumes are not going to be as much as we thought it was going to be. Uh, people are going to be very careful about travel. Um, so I think the travel will change. Uh, we sell cash um, and card. Uh, but I think there'll be more of card than cash moving forward. That's what we think. I think the industry will change significantly. Um, travel in the travel industry will probably never be quite the same or not for some foreseeable time. I've only been in the travel industry five years um, or a little bit longer with uh, study and so forth. But from everything I'm reading and what my own thoughts will be is that we'll get a different type of traveller, um, maybe a higher level experience. There'll certainly be less people around. Um, so it will be a challenge for us to understand how to actually um, adjust to that. But I do think we'll see a lot more domestic visitors coming to Adelaide, so other Australian states. Um, there's still a lot of people out there, believe it or not, who have never been to Adelaide, because we do still, we get about 10% of our customers who are actually in state. Um, I think we'll get more of those and um, maybe from New Zealand, which was a growing market for us as well. So our demographic will change um, and the industry will change as well. If we look at the hospitality industry, you know, as a first one, I think the things that we're going to see change moving forward are um, there's been a lot of commentary about the fact that restaurant margins are too lean. Um, you know, that we, we've always had a bit of a discount culture in South Australia since the advent of gaming. Um, you know, if I go back to when I was 18 years old and the, you know, the $3 steaks and things like that, you know, it was all about driving revenue um, into hotels and into the gaming rooms more than anything else. So that's changed a lot. But I think that what you're going to get is that venues are now going to want to charge a reasonable amount um, for what they do so that they can afford to have that buffer and they can start building up their cash flows to a degree. Um, I think you'll see a lot of the smaller operators going to fall out of the space because they just can't carry themselves through um, and then you'll see them come back in. Support for small businesses is a major part of the City of Adelaide's $4 million city support package. We've established a small business task force and are providing regular updates via our City Business Newsletter. To get all the latest information delivered to your inbox, subscribe today at cityofadelaide.com.au forward slash business.